The story is about 11-year-old Riley who has grown up in the Midwest and moves to San Francisco. And of course with that are changes, new house, new school, new friends. But Riley is actually the setting because the actual story takes place inside her mind and the main characters are her uh, emotions, anger, sadness, fear, disgust, and of course joy. And so those guys are really piloting Riley. They look at themselves as advisors or parents in a way. They're trying to drive her through uh, every uh, interaction in life and they all have very passionate ideas of the right way to approach something. Fear generally involves uh, running away or avoiding it. Uh, anger generally wants to hit somebody. Uh, joy just wants to embrace it and run in and try new things. And so it's really the uh, tension and the fighting between all those characters that makes uh, for an interesting life. And I think they're, 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 they're kind of like the voices inside of our heads. We wanted to kind of try to capture what emotions feel like and what the the shapes themselves represent certain things. You know, anger is like a, a brick. He's just a solid, you know, and then he, of course, starts on fire when he's pissed, which is what being angry feels like. You know, it feels like you have uh, fire coursing through you. Uh, fear is like a vein or a, a, a nerve, like a really kinked up, you know, nervous guy. Um, and, and disgust, we sort of modeled after a broccoli sort of shape and, and color-wise. Um, sadness is a teardrop, an upside down teardrop. Um, and joy is just like an explosion, a star, you know, and she just has so much energy and vitality and a, no fear at all. She's just the one that makes us go and take chances and risks. Inside Out is a film that takes place inside the mind, which is a place that everybody has been to, but nobody's ever seen before. And it is possibly the largest set that we've ever built. It's a huge place. Uh, and so there's an incredible scale and scope. The adventure is huge and yet also very intimate because the film is about these characters who are emotions. Um, you know, the, the, the sort of crux of the story and the, and the emotional punchline, if you will, is very intimate and small. So it has fun, it has adventure and scope, but it's also got a lot of heart to it. My daughter, who is, she was about 11. Her name is Ellie. And she did the voice of young Ellie in, in Up, if you remember that film at the very beginning, the spirited, spunky kid who, you know, is running around like a crazy person with hair out to there. And my daughter was actually kind of like that as a young kid. And she was getting older and more quiet and withdrawn. And I went through some really difficult times as a kid uh, in, at about that age. And so I was kind of keeping an eye on her going, oh, I know what she's going through. And it was really that inspiration of thinking about, like, what's going on inside your head that led to the formation of the story. Riley moves from Minnesota to the big city of San Francisco, which is, of course, a huge change for her. I think Joy probably could have handled that uh, okay, even the sort of tension of anger and fear and everybody. But sadness starts acting up in ways that Joy hasn't dealt with before. Joy, out of all the emotions, sadness is the one she really doesn't get. She understands that anger, of course, looks out for Riley and makes sure she uh, gets her what she needs. You know, Fear protects her from getting hurt. Disgust uh, keeps her from being poisoned physically or socially. But sadness, Joy just doesn't really understand what, why would you want your kid to be sad? And so now when sadness starts acting up and pushing things further and further and changing some memories from happy to sad, Joy is really mystified. And so it was that struggle between those two that ends up with both of them being projected outside of headquarters and ending up in long-term memory way far away from where they can do their job and make Riley happy. So now with those two gone, Along with the core memories, everything shuts down. Everything of who they understand their kid to be, the things that make Riley Riley, have now been shut down, and she is sort of moping through life, the way we all sort of feel when we're growing up.